All right, here we go. So you're going to teach us how to save our fish, right? Yes. So this is Current Labs. Uh, you have six minutes on the clock. Let's get going. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nathan, and this is Brack, and we're with Current Labs. And we want to take a moment to tell you about ourselves, our company, and our first product, Fishbit. Fishbit. Growing up in a heavy aquarium per capita city like Miami, I worked at local fish stores. And I fell in love with the hobby so much that I actually got paid entirely in fishing corals. You can see by the video taken of our tank in San Francisco just how beautiful aquariums can be. It's like having the best parts of the ocean in your living room. They're clinically proven to be soothing, which is why doctors keep them in their waiting rooms. Aquariums make up 10% of the market, of the pet, of the pet store and supplies market. <coughs> And as a population, aquarium owners are incredibly awesome to design for. They're super passionate about their hobby, and they all want to grow it. But taking care of an aquarium is really difficult. You have to keep track of a lot of tedious chores, and a lot of things can happen r really quickly that can take your tank out. You'll have stubborn algae outbreaks, or your pH will spike. And you can walk home to a disaster to find your third floor apartment covered with three inches of water. And if you're a tank owner, the end result is that lots of fish and corals are dying. And if you're a tank owner, this is terrible. Not just because your fish just died, but because it's most likely your fault. This is the Wakatobi Reef in Indonesia. And 95% of saltwater fish and corals are cultured in reefs just like this. And if you don't own fish tanks, this is why what we're saying is, matters. Captured corals and fish die at an absurd rate. And we want to change this. It's really bad for the hobby, but it's worse for the environment. So we're introducing Fishbit. Fishbit is a, an app in hardware experience that makes it easy to control and monitor your aquarium so that you can keep your fish and corals alive in your aquarium rather than in a porcelain bowl. Existing competitors sell for upwards of $800, and they're hard to use and difficult to set up. We spoke to the guy in this photo. He's the head aquarium biologist at a big aquarium in San Francisco, and it took him and a buddy six hours to set his device up. And the reason this is is because the existing devices are built by and for aquarium experts. But we're designing for everyone, including the other 87% of aquarium owners, the people who just want to relax in front of their aquarium after a long day of work, or get a hobby that they can enjoy with their kid. And for the people who have always wanted to have a tank, but have been scared up to now because of how much work it would require. So Fishbit is made up of three components. It's a monitor, a controller, and our application. And the monitor simply drops into your tank and snaps in. It's powered wirelessly, and so there's no wires going into your tank, and it really lives up to the beauty within it. Inside the monitor, there are three sensors that are sensing temperature, salinity, and pH to keep track of everything going on. Everything is powered by Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and there's LED lights that can provide feedback if you're not by your phone. So I want to show you what this looks like on the iPhone, if we can switch over. We've designed a simple and beautiful aquarium management system that lets you keep track of your levels in real time. It lets you control your existing devices that surround your aquarium, and you can keep track of the life that's already in, exists within it, as well as manage all of the different things that you have to do to keep your tank stable on a daily and weekly basis. So for fun, I want to show you what happens when we pour a whole bunch of vinegar inside of our aquarium. And so while we wait for this to see what happens, this is obviously something that's terrible, but if you weren't at home, if, home to see this in front of your tank, you wouldn't know what's happening. But you can see that Fishbit actually just alerted that something's wrong. And it looks like clearly the pH is really out of whack. And so you can see there is a small spike there that's changing your pH instantly when we enter the vinegar. And this is something that is really powerful. Because if you were, home at, if you were at work and your kid dropped something in your tank, 
or one of the many reef supplements that you keep by your tank fell in, you'd walk, you'd walk back home to an underwater grave. So, so here's the thing. Regular aquarium owners need more than just hardware. We want to make sure that people have exactly what they need when they need it. Sometimes this is advice. Sometimes this is information. And sometimes it's alerts. But other times it's supplies and fish. Our customers who have fish bits get advice that's not based on general parameters, but that's based on what's happening in their tank minute by minute in real time. And let me tell you what that means. Because we keep their tanks stable so that their fish are, stay alive. And for the same reasons, we help them choose the fish that are most likely to thrive in their tank. Because we know the fish that are compatible with what's in, ready inside it, what do well in similar systems, and what do well in water composition just like it. All right, I think we're just about out of time. So that was Fishbit. James, you, you run Fitbit. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, Should you recuse <laughs> yourself? I won't comment here. <laughs> OK. So and uh, so to, to the ending the ending part, I guess you can confirm. So you basically be able to that you can send people fish. Yes, you can send send. So them a fish lot of people products. don't realize, but there's been a lot of advances in shipping recently, and people actually buy a lot of fish online, and they'll get it the next day. So next day, fish fish shipping. Hmm. So your bit that's a totally different business. I mean, you're looking at two different businesses, right? Absolutely, so it's a service business, 100 percent. Okay, so you're you're supplying the fish through some third party, and you're and it's all coming from you, correct? So you're going to yes. order all this. Okay. So what's really exciting for us is designing a business around the around this ugly problem that just so happens to use hardware to make it better. Well, I got to say, after watching this, I was thinking about getting my son a fish tank because our praying mantis died, and it's time to graduate up. And now I'm convinced I will absolutely not get him an aquarium because even though you simplified the problem, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of you work, know, but we're making like, it much easier. And that's a lot of information for someone who is kind of doing this as a hobbyist to start looking at. It's so almost this, more stressful than it's worth to get is this for the Is this for the current fish owner who knows a little bit about the fish enough to, about to be dangerous? And then they put the fish bit and replace like all the garbage that you guys showed before? Or is this for, I don't know, I have three kids. If I put this in there with a fish bit, would my fish survive? It's for both. Owning a fish tank is an incredibly rewarding experience, and they're absolutely gorgeous. But it's a lot of hard work, just like you said, and people are scared of what's going to happen. So we're helping the people who don't know what they're doing. And the people who already have the basics down, we're showing them insights that they wouldn't have known otherwise. So you had a market size number early on in the presentation. So is this a growing market, flat market, shrinking market? It's growing 7% year over year. And it seems like you're talking to the high end of the market. So you're not talking to the person who has a little bowl with a goldfish in it. You're talking to someone with a pretty substantial investment in their aquarium to start seeing value in this product. Yeah, we're, we're definitely starting with saltwater aquarists because they have a high emotional attachment and they pay a lot more money for their fish. But it's interesting to note that a lot of people who own saltwater aquariums aren't high upper class people, there's a lot of middle class people who spend a significant portion of their income because of their love for the hobby. So what's the average spend of people in that category? About $1,000 a year. $1,000 a year. And how much would a, how much would a tank that, that would look cool as your tank cost? It depends on what exactly you want, but you can get a tank for a couple hundred dollars all the way to, I've heard crazy stories of people moving houses and putting in a 50000 and designing a house around their tank. So is that device just the sensors, or is it a filter as well? Or This current device is just the sensors. Okay. Um, so as he said, it's sensing salinity, uh, pH, and temperature, which uh -huh. we decided were the three key parameters to making sure we can fully monitor the environment. Um, but since this connects to our hub and with Bluetooth, we can actually continue to build this ecosystem around the ecosystem and expand our technology. I think James just defined your product for you. If you can actually have this where it gives you that information and then makes, takes the corrective measures, Absolutely, yes. That's so great. It's or both a monitor food. and a control. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's, so, it's, it's exactly. So the, so the, the uh, electronic, the, what I was saying, the electronics there can actually turn the filter on and off for people as well, right? Yeah. 
Think uh, if this and that for your aquarium. If your pH changes in this direction, we can do things like aerate your tank better, which will also adjust your pH. And is there something, is there stuff that you guys can do programmatically or automatically that would save a tank in peril? Like if the kids forgot about the tank for... Yeah, if the pH level rises, like could it automatically do something to Absolutely. correct for it? Like eject the I fish? Mean, for I'd, be less interested if, I'd be interested if like I could just drop a device in the tank and I don't have to worry and about it's anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're a long way from being a complete self-managing system. The only way to do that right now is to pay an aquarium guy to come to your house. But for less drastic things than pouring half a gallon of vinegar, there are a lot of things that we automate for you. Yeah, I mean, I would be deterred from having a saltwater tank just because of the amount of work and maintenance. I think this gets me part of the way they're solving it, but I, you know, I would definitely want something that's pretty hands-off mm -hmm. if I wanted to jump into a saltwater tank. Um, I want one, but... Yeah. Now, would you guys ever part partner so you could have like a fish activity tracker? Uh, could you guys I don't know if there's like clinical a, studies like that show how much like exercise fish need. So, <laughs> so there's science. I don't know if we For can the fighting invest fish. resources. Don't stop yeah. swimming. Can fish get skinnier? Fish can get skinnier. And actually, a lot of people have a problem of overfeeding their fish, and so they okay. have fat fish. So we have a, fit, you know, a, fit, a fish treadmill could be a next, uh, next product. <laughs> there would be that. something there. All right. Any other questions for these guys before I, so I don't hassle them too much? <laughs> yeah. No? Good? Yeah. All right, here we go. Current Labs with Fishbit. So that is the last, uh, last company for the day. We're going to deliberate. We're going to pick uh, some of the best guys out for upcoming the, uh, the finals.